Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist, Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of the modern medical model can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, simply standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, anything we're talking about on the bright side, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, as well as pharmacistben.com. You can also go to brightsideben.com and order products right off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them about signing up to join our Brightside Ben team and make a little money while, you're, while you are helping spread the word about how important and powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business. I started a lot of businesses, folks, and you can't really start very many for $25. If you want to earn some money, if you want to spread the word about the power, and of, power of a good nutritional supplement program, if you want to change lives, really, that's what I do on this program every day. That's what I do in my presentations, and that's my mission in life, really, is to help change people's health lives, and not just physical health, spiritual health, mental health, emotional health. That's just a little mission I made up for myself. And luckily, I study chemistry. I know how the body works, so I can do it. And I travel around the country doing that. And I don't get paid to do that. And I'd love it if you would help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I can't do it all myself. I need you. So if you're out there and you're, you're the kind of person who wants to make a difference, the kind of person who likes helping people, likes improving lives, and the kind of person who likes money too, this is a golden opportunity Sign up under me by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to be a member of the team. I can help you build your business. We can do three-way phone calls. We can help change lives. We can help a lot of people, and we can make money at the same time. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Okay, I want to continue talking about carnitine. Love, love, love this stuff, especially in combination with coenzyme Q10 and alpha lipoic acid. We're going to talk about that here for the next few days. Carnitine is very underappreciated in, uh, in my opinion. It's one of the all-time great supplements for the ketogenic diet as well. Carnitine is a fat diet, uh, is a fat supplement, and the ketogenic diet is a fat diet. Carnitine facilitates the body's ability to utilize fat. Remember, the ketogenic diet's about fat. It's about leveraging all that energy that's in fat. Carnitine facilitates that, that process, facilitates fat burning, oxidation, as they say. F facilitates the movement of fats into the burning mechanisms inside of a cell. In fact, the action of carnitine is, you could think of it like the essence of the ketogenic diet's mechanism. The ketogenic diet is a fat-burning diet, and carnitine is a fat-burning supplement. In other words, the ketogenic diet, like carnitine, both of these work by allowing the body to utilize fat. 
carnitine is a type of amino acid. It's actually not really. It's a dipeptide. It's made up of two different amino acids. It's a hybrid. It's found in high concentrations in the liver. The liver is our fat processing organ. Carnitine is made in the liver. It's found in the liver. And although the ketones, when you do the ketogenic diet, the ketones that are generated don't necessarily need carnitine. The ketogenic diet produces ketones, which are like the essence, the, the power of the fat is in the ketone. It's like, a, it's like the essence of, the, of, all, of the, all of the energizing benefits of, of fat are, are held in place by the ketones. It's the essence. Not that you can't get energy from fat without ketones. In fact, when the body burns fat, ketones are generated as a byproduct. So fat burning and ketone generation, there's not necessarily the same things. Ketone generation is a byproduct. Carnitine facilitates the movement. Facilit you don't necessarily need it for the ketogenic diet, but you're going to need it if you're using more fat. If you're eating more fat, if you want to be a fat burner, you need carnitine. Carnitine is like a little biochemical fat magnet. It attracts fat. It carries fat. It carries pieces of fat into the little fat burners, so-called mitochondria. Got hundreds, maybe thousands in some cells of mitochondria. That is so amazing to me, you guys. You know, a cell is <laughs> a cell's amazing, but there's actually little things inside a cell that are just as amazing as the cell itself. Billions of years ago, there were just bacteria, just bacteria cells, three Three, they say the earth is four billion years, so the scientists tell us, four billion years old, right? So for the first 500 million years, yeah, 500 million years, it's the kind of scales we're talking about if you, if you believe the scientists. 500, first 500 million years was all just bacteria. This was a planet of bacteria. Then something happened about 500 million years ago, or about 3.5 uh, billion years ago, I should say. First 500 million years, you got just bacteria. Then something happened, and bacteria somehow turned into animal cells or, or plant cells, higher cells. Bacterial cells are like a, a, a primitive type of cell. Not that they're not functional. They're incredibly functional. Bacteria rule the world in many ways. But something happened, and nobody knows exactly what, but boom, all of a sudden you had a... Uh, uh, a, uh, a cell that could burn oxygen, that could utilize oxygen, that could, that, that could uh, produce energy in a much more efficient and much more uh, elegant fashion than a bacteria. That's really the major difference between a bacterial cell and, and the higher cells is we can produce energy more efficiently. And that allows us to do more things. And nobody knows exactly what happened, but it's thought... The, the researchers, the scientists believe that somehow or another these mitochondria, these little fat burners, these little energy devices somehow merged with a bacterial cell. That's the, that's the difference between a bacterial cell and a, and a human cell or animal cell or a plant cell, higher cells if you will. They call them U karyotes, higher cells. These higher cells have the mitochondria, and it's thought that the mitochondria were a separate life form that kind of merged with a bacterial cell to form us. And that made these new cells, these animal cells, that have an ability to utilize energy more efficiently, to produce it more effectively, and they could do all kinds of good things. A cancer cell, by the way, is a cell that's gone backwards. A cancer cell is operating like an old-style cell, like the old model, the bacterial cell. That's why it divides so rapidly, like a bacteria. That's why it becomes resistant to chemotherapy so effectively, because it's dividing so rapidly, like a bacteria becomes resistant. These mitochondria are ridiculously fascinating, and they have their own DNA. If you ever watch the crime shows, you know, you've probably heard of the term mitochondrial DNA. They have a, their own type of DNA that's distinct from, from the cell's DNA. It's like they're like little entities that have somehow maintained a certain amount of individuality while they merged with us. And these things, uh, carnitine is responsible for feeding these things, feeding these things fat. These mitochondria are ridiculously fascinating, not only because of all the stuff they do, but because they're tiny size. They are hundreds of times smaller than the width of a human hair inside a cell. And you, inside a cell itself, you can have hundreds to thousands of these things. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll talk more carnitine when we come back from this break. Don't go away. Okay, we 
are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase products off the websites as well as criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470. And I would encourage you, if you were interested in checking out, uh, using some super high-end premium deluxe skin treatments. You want to know about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. None of, our, none of my formulations have fillers or waxes or waters or emulsifying uh, or water or emulsifying agents or oil or preservatives or or uh, perfumes or fragrances. What, what's the point of having a product that's 90% baloney? The point is for somebody to make a lot of money. When I was in the lab, I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to put something on my skin. I didn't mix up an emulsifier and a surfactant and water and a preservative and fragrance. I went right to the ingredient deck and picked the active material out. Sometimes I put it in a little bit of a transdermal support system to uh, increase the penetration and that was it. And that's what I'm selling you at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Why should you have to pay for all that stuff that you're not using? 90% or more of your skincare product is nothing. It's air, it's cotton candy. It's not doing anything for your skin. It has no function, no purpose, except to pad the product. The typical uh, activity of a, of a moisturizer is on the order of 0% to 5 or 10%. Why should you have to pay for 90%, 95% or more ingredients that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want? TruthTreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm for anti-aging, for hyperpigmentation, improves the texture of your skin, improves the moisturization and softness of your skin from the bottom up. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side talking about well, one of my favorite nutritional supplements, nutraceuticals, pharm, uh, nutri nutrients that act like pharmaceuticals, is carnitine is underappreciated as it go uh, as it is. As far as nutritional supplements are concerned, carnitine is your heart's best nutritional supplement friend, or at least one of your heart. I don't want to say your best, but one of your heart's best uh, best friends. It's the quintessential cardiac nutraceutical, nutritional medicine for the heart. Despite all the noise about heart disease and the billions, even trillions of dollars spent on awareness of heart disease, prevention of heart disease, checkups, diagnostics, reducing risks with pharmaceuticals, heart disease is still the leading cause of death in this country and around the world. Only cancer comes close to approaching the amount of deaths uh, associated with a disease. Of course, iatrogenic disease, medically induced disease, is is probably the, the, the number one killer. Do you know that that's the number one killer in this country when you factor in uh, uh, drug deaths and, and uh, accidents and misdiagnosis? How could that be? How can we have a medical system that's the leading cause of death? It's, that is unbelievable, just mind-boggling. Heart disease rates have, uh, heart disease mortality has gone down a little bit, but heart disease rates have not. And around the world, it's, this is true around the world. And ironically, the more government and medical nonsense that we are subjected to about low-fat diets and low-salt diets and eating six to seven servings of whole grains every day and taking statin drugs and, to force your body to lower your cholesterol and not eating cholesterol, all of these silly dogmas about how to take care of your heart Despite the fact that we are bombarded with these ideas on a hour-to-hour -hour basis, rates of the disease have not really budged very much, although, as I say, mortality has dropped a little bit. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of premature death in the world, period. That includes heart attacks, strokes, and other various circulatory issues. The number of deaths around the world from cardiovascular disease increased by 41% between 1990 and 2013, just in the last 23 years. How does this happen? Death rates from cardiovascular disease were steady in every region in the world, except for Sub-Saharan Africa, 
where the rates increased. They were steady or they fell slightly, I should say. Carnitine is especially important for heart cells, which depend on fat more than any other cell in the body. That tells you something. Heart cells need energy. Your heart is pumping billions of times in a lifetime. Never stops pumping. Never stops beating. All that requires energy. Someday we'll talk about how the unelectrical pulse is generated through the heart. That's a little bit technical, but man, is that amazing. Do you ever wonder about that? How is an electrical pulse generated in a perfectly, for most, most of the time, in a perfectly choreographed rhythm? Boom, 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 boom. All happens electrically. How does this occur? This is another miracle in the human body. Little heart cells conduct energy in this incredible, incredible fashion, electrical uh, energy in this incredible fashion that allows them to, to generate an electric, a rhythmic electrical charge, particularly in an area of the heart called the pacemaker. They'll put an artificial pacemaker in your heart if this area gets messed up. And one of the major, most important resources or raw materials for these cells to do their business, their electrical business, is carnitine. It's fat and carnitine. Fat especially is important because if it's so dense in energy. The heart needs fat. Tell that to the next doctor who wants you to go on a low-fat diet. From the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, February 2016, a new Dutch study of 36,000 people shows that the more saturated fat they ate, the less heart disease they got. Add to this, uh, add this, uh, this fact to the evidence of the Inuit Eskimos who subsist on animal fat and protein for 10 months a year and get very little heart disease. As far as cholesterol goes, same thing. The idea of poisoning the cholesterol production system with a statin drug in the name of health, it, I want to be very clear about this. It is one of the stupidest of all medical dogmas. I don't care if you lower your risk by 1.5%. You cannot ever expect to get healthy by poisoning part of your body, period. End of story. It's just, I don't need to see statistics. I don't need to see papers and research studies. I'm just telling you common, logical sense. You cannot shut down part of the body, especially a part of the body that is so fundamental or as fundamental as cholesterol production machinery, which is basically how you want to think of the cholesterol production, how cholesterol production proceeds in the body. It's machinery. You cannot shut down the machinery of cholesterol production and not expect to have a blowback, have a negative side effect. It cannot be. And to think you're going to get healthier and get better by doing it is sheer... Not, I don't want you know it's medical nonsense, but it's even worse than that. It's dishonest on the part of the drug companies, not on necessarily on the part of the doctors who are just many times medical sheep, just like people. You know, they're people, and they're good people, by the way. I'm not here to rip on doctors, and never ever I'm going to rip on doctors. I'm ripping on the model. Although I will say there are doctors like people, there are ordinary people who are medical sheep. And nothing says that you're a medical sheep more than writing a script for a statin drug without understanding what you're actually doing, without uh, simply by going by statistics or by what the drug companies told you. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this break. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Actually, we got a full board of or a, a full board of empty uh, of empty boxes here. So now's the time to get on. We got lots of things to talk about. If you don't give us a shout, 844-236-6010. But if you uh, have questions about the longevity products, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with uh, hyperpigmentation, truthtreatments.com. Our retinol 5% gel, as well as our True Serum, can help lighten the skin. If you're looking for one product, I would go with the True Serum personally. That's that's the most. Uh, the True Serum is the most ingredient dense of all my products. Uh, of course, the retinol 5% gel is very effective as a treatment once or twice a week. Some of you folks are using it a little too much, and you know what? Some folks can use it. I'm shocked, but because that shouldn't happen with retinol, that you can use it every day. But some folks are using it five or six days a week. I'm not recommending it necessarily, but some folks are doing that. 
Uh, if you have a dark spot, you want to uh, just dab a little of the retinol 5% gel on the dark spot, or if you have a blemish to be, you can dab it on the blemish to be, uh, a little bit extra, a little bit more, but overall as a skin tonic, as a skin nutritional tonic for anti-aging, you want to use about once or twice a week. And it makes a perfect, uh, it, it pairs up perfectly with our Omega-6 healing cream, by the way. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number from the, uh, let's see, where is this from here? This is from, I don't know where it's from. Apparently, oh, it's from uh, Texas Tech University. New findings detail how beneficial bacteria in the nose suppress pathogenic bacteria. That is, probiotics in your nose can help protect you from respiratory infections. I've been talking about this for years. I remember doing an interview uh, about allergies and about, uh, and about uh, uh, nasal infections in kids. Kids are notorious for getting, not nasal infections, but ear infections in kids. Kids are notorious for getting ear infections. And I was talking to the radio host, I was ta talking about probiotics, and she couldn't believe it. She didn't, didn't make sense how you could work on probiotics in your digestive system and help uh, uh, prevent ear infections. Well, it turns out that you got probiotics in your head. Inside your head, you got probiotics in your nose and in your, in your uh, sinuses. I don't know about in your sinuses, actually, but in your nose. In your nose, I wouldn't be surprised if they're everywhere, personally, but it seems like the sinuses wouldn't have bacteria in them. In any case, the nose has beneficial bacteria that help suppress the bad guys. This is one of the major roles of the good guys. They suppress the bad guys. And there are so many ways that we have, uh, so many strategies and so many things that we do in our culture today that pretty much is, you might as well be specifically designed to kill off those good bacteria. Add that to the list of the reasons why we're sick. We're killing off this microbiome with chlorine and fluoride and antibiotics in the water and the crappy way we eat and irritable bowel syndrome and too much sugar. Almost everything we do in terms of how we take care of our bodies, from the food we eat to the water we drink to the air we breathe, is pretty much, if it's not specifically designed, it might as well be specifically designed to kill off our good bacteria. Get yourself on the ultimate nightly essence. Eat fermented foods. Be very careful of the foods you choose to eat. Sugars can be especially problematic, especially concentrated sugars in dried fruits especially concentrated sugars in, in pies and desserts, especially concentrated sugars in any fruit, really. Bananas and the super rich sugary foods are notorious for causing digestive, di digestive health challenges in folks. You gotta be careful with the fruit. And I would not be drinking tap water. I, I drink tap water if I go out to a restaurant or something. Uh, or, or, that's basically it, actually. So if I go out to a restaurant, I'll drink tap water. Uh, unless I have an option to have bottled water. And I'll, many times, if not all the time, choose the bottled water. You've got to be careful with the tap water. After you drink the tap water, make sure you're using vitamin C. Vitamin C can help neutralize some of the toxicity of tap water. Vitamin C can help neutralize a lot of toxicity. Vitamin C is one of those nutrients you want throughout the day by the way, because we're constantly toxic. From uh, the Cochrane Library, a systematic review found that music demonstrated to, uh, music has been, dem or music has, was demonstrated to alleviate cancer patient syndrome, or symptoms. Listening to music reduces cancer patient symptoms. I love this idea. Not just any music, but classical music. Why? Because, well, they didn't say this, but I'm gonna tell you why. Because music, classical music, calming music, activates the parasympathetic nervous system. According to, uh, according to this uh, uh, Jake Brote, PhD, associate professor at Drexel University uh, College of Nursing and Health, quote, the results of single studies suggest that music listening may reduce the need for pain pills as well as decreased, uh, decreased recovery time and duration of hospitalization. How do you like that? Listening to music. When was the last time a doctor wrote a prescription for uh, Beethoven or Mozart or some classical music? What else we got here? Understanding the fate of food. Oh, this is really cool. Do you know to this day we don't really understand how we digest our food? all the specifics of digesting our food. 
According to Dr. Didier Dupont, a senior scientist at the INRA Agro Campus in France, the digestive process is something of a black box. We need to know more about the role of food in human health. Where'd you hear that before? Hippocrates said that. Hippocrates said that 2,000 plus years ago. Let food be thy medicine, let medicine be thy food. Now, it's just starting to change. I will say the medical model is starting to is starting to make an adjustment, understanding the power of food. Now, they still have some bad ideas here, but they're now understanding the power of food and the, the critical nature of the gastrointestinal GI tract, the digestive tract, when it comes to how healthy or not healthy we are. But common sense has been dictating this idea for thousands of years. Up as recently as 10 years ago, as recently as 10 years ago, your doctor would have poo-pooed the idea that food or, or nutrition, uh, uh, probiotics or nutritional support of the digestive tract has any relevance when it comes to, when it comes to health. Eat, four, eat uh, three square meals a day. Make sure you're getting the four food groups. Blah, 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 blah. Dr. Wallach used to say, nothing has killed more people than that phrase. Just eat, get your four food groups. Pizza is, remember ketchup was one of the four food groups, it was a vegetable? Pizza is considered all your four food groups. But now we're understanding that there's a major, major relationship between how healthy the digestive tract is and how healthy we are. It's the first point on our triangle of disease. Soon after the digestive system becomes corrupted, the blood sugar system gets messed up, and then we're off to the disease races via the thyroid adrenal complex. Every single health challenge, and by the way, heart disease especially, is a result, a function of this triangle of disease that begins at the level of the digestive system. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, let's see, we'll, uh, we'll take Todd real quickly here. And uh, hey, Todd, why don't, you, why don't you ask me a question, then I'm going to have you hold, because we're going to go to break, Okay. Okay, I just want you to talk about psoriasis again. Okay, got it. Uh, horrible. One, of, one other thing, one other thing. There's a disease where you can't sweat. It's a genetic disease. Yes, I know what you're talking about. A lot. I want you to talk about that. Dude, I'll just post it online. Okay, good deal. Thanks for your call, Todd. Thanks. We'll address that when we come back for a break. Take care. Hi, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll talk a little psoriasis and talk a little bit about... Uh, Anhydrosis, I believe they call it. We can't sweat. A, a really very terrible condition where you can't sweat. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back. Do you ever okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or the tr um, my Truth Skin Health products or the Jordan Rubin Bone Broth products, I haven't talked about that one. Uh, if you're interest interested in checking out our bone broth, Jordan Rubin's bone broth protein powder. Yummy, yummy. That stuff is so tasty. Still like my whey protein though, but uh, bone broth protein contains an amino acid spectrum that you're not gonna find in, uh, in whey protein. It has the amino acids that are specific for building connective tissue, which means bone broth protein is a beauty protein and it's bone building protein. And it's a joint building protein. It's connective tissue building protein and 25% of our body or so is made up of connective tissue. One of the most important places, by the way, is the gut. And blood vessels as well. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Before we went to break, we talked to uh, Tony, I believe, in Texas, or I think it was Tony in Texas, about psoriasis and something that's called anhydrosis, which is a condition where you can't sweat. So let me just talk about these things uh, real quickly, and then uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to some more calls. So hang on if you're on hold. 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, let's, take, uh, let's take anhydrosis first. This is a condition where you can't sweat. It's kind of a mysterious condition. And let me tell you about this thing. People can't sweat. And it doesn't sound like it's not, you know, it may not sound like it's an incredibly important thing, but it's, it is incredibly important. For one thing, you detoxify through sweat. For another thing, you cool down through sweat. So it can, it's a serious problem. Nobody really knows what causes it, but there's a couple things that come to mind. First of all, there's research that shows that when adrenal hormones, when you get injected with adrenal hormones, epinephrine in, in particular, that can cause the problem. So not surprisingly, there seems to be a link between the adrenal glands and the inability to sweat. Your adrenal glands are your sweat or stress glands. So there seems to be a connection between the two. This is not surprising. But the main point is, is that when you have a condition that's mysterious, 
that you can't figure out the cause of. You always want to backtrack to your triangle of disease. You always want to backtrack to these three points. And another thing you always want to do is you want to look for multiple symptoms. Nobody just has anhydrosis. Nobody just can't sweat. It's not like they're perfectly 100% healthy and all the only problem is they can't sweat. Oh, but my doctor told me that my test scores were all normal. It doesn't matter what your test scores say. Your test scores do not matter. Your symptoms do. You do not want to be drugged or surgically manipulated or have any other medical protocol done based on numbers, based on statistics. You're not a statistic. I'm not a statistic. We're people. All those test scores are, are uh, assessed or analyzed through something called reference values, reference ranges, standards, normal. Nobody's normal. These ranges are meaningless. If you have anhydrosis or any other mysterious health condition, look for other symptoms. Be vigilant. Sometimes they're sneaky. Sometimes they're tricky. They go under the radar, especially digestive symptoms. If we've had a symptom all our life, we may not even notice it until we really start analyzing and paying attention. That's why food diary is so important. So anhydrosis, mysterious condition. It is, seems to be related to the adrenal glands. Not a surprise. Look for other symptoms and backtrack to the triangle of disease. Always backtrack. There is a genetic component, but there's a genetic component to everything. So saying there's a genetic component doesn't tell us much. The genes, genes turn on and off like Christmas tree lights depending on epigenetics. Tomorrow we'll talk about how carnitine is an epigenetic factor. Epigenetics is the idea that there are things that turn the genes on and off. This is so important because we're, we're taught to believe that the gene rules all and that if a gene, if, if, if a gene is, if there's a gene for something, then we're condemned. It doesn't work that way. That's not how genetics works. That's a simplistic notion of genetics that's promoted by people who want to sell us things, particularly things that help us tweak the gene. If you want to tweak your gene, do it with the thoughts you're thinking, the feelings you're feeling, and the food you're eating, and the supplements you're getting, and the air you're breathing, and the water you're drinking. That's how you manipulate your genes. The genes are exquisitely responsive to the environment, as would make perfect sense in a body that is exquisitely responsive to the environment. Now, as far as psoriasis goes, that one is really interesting because it is so tragically unnecessary like most health challenges, but because psoriasis is on the outside of the body, it's not only the cause of, of, of physical misery, it's the cause of emotional misery and mental misery. It's a horrible experience for somebody to have to go through these patches. You know, we, we have a culture where we don't, you know, we look at people funny when they got things going on on their skin, and it's not really very nice of us. I don't think, as somebody who's in the skincare business, so psoriasis is emotionally debilitating and mentally debilitating in addition to being physically debilitating, in addition to being, and this is the most important thing about psoriasis, is it is a harbinger of more awful things to come. There is, are significant comorbidities, that means associated diseases with psoriasis. Heart diseases rates are higher and people have psoriasis. Cancer rates are higher and people have psoriasis. Autoimmune disease, well, psoriasis is, is an autoimmune disease. Psoriasis is when the body attacks itself. In the case of the, all autoimmune diseases, that's the mechanism. In the case of psoriasis, the body attacks the skin cells. The skin cells then look like an enemy, and an inflammatory cascade is initiated that results in cells dividing super rapidly, and you end up with a plaque on the surface of the skin. It's not unlike a cancer in a way. It's just rapid, uncontrolled growth of skin cells. And it's caused by an activated immune system, period. You want to stop your psoriasis fast. Fast for a week. Watch what happens to your plaques. Now, you can't fast forever. You've got to eat again. But when you eat again, be careful. Watch the kind of foods you're eating. And use digestive support. Do a food diary and the elimination diet and use digestive support supplements, chief among which are probiotics, good bacteria. You could take your good bacteria, your probiotic uh, supplement, your ultimate nightly essence, you could peel off the label and you could put on an ultimate anti-psoriasis uh, essence. It's the same thing, it's the same idea. You're supporting the probiotic bacteria, this supports the gut, which in turn supports the immune system. 
The gut is the immune system, mostly. 80% of your immune system lives in the gut. So anything you do for the gut, you're going to support your immune system. And we just spent time talking about how the good bacteria fight the bad bacteria and the good bacteria support the immune system. And Get on a probiotic supplement. Eat fermented food. Use sauerkraut, miso, tempeh. Use your Amasai and your, and your Suero-V from Longevity. This is Jordan Rubin's great insight is fermented food and, and bacteria. Use vegetable juices. This is all for psoriasis, by the way. There's also a very important relationship between the fat system and psoriasis. Omega-3s are very important as an anti-psoriatic nutritional supplement. Omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil especially. Omega-6s are the main fat in the skin. And despite what you hear, you need omega-6s in your diet and in supplementation because we don't get enough omega-6s. Oh, I know, you know, French fries and potato chips, so I'll use, I'll use canola oil and, and uh, corn oil and soy oil. And, you know, we have lots of omega-6 oils in the culture, but we're cooking with them. We're heating them. We don't get the omega-6s that we need when we heat and cook oils. So you need to supplement with omega-6s as well as fish oil, as well as fatty nutrients like vitamin E and vitamin A for psoriasis. Vitamin D is a medical, medical protocol for psoriasis. That's how important that is. You'll actually get a prescription for something called Dovonex, which is vitamin D, which is a pharmaceutical version of vitamin D. And for eons, at least uh, since dermatology began, the sun has been used, or, or sun lamps have been used to improve the quality of the skin in all manner for acne, for anti-aging, and for psoriasis. Why? Because the sun activates vitamin D, among other things. The sun does lots of things for the skin. It turns it on, it exercises the skin, it stimulates the skin, and most importantly, it upregulates the production of real, the good vitamin D, the quality vitamin D. Food vitamin D and supplemental vitamin D, they're nowhere near the quality as sun-driven vitamin C. Sun-driven vitamin C, that's the stuff you want, and especially if you're dealing with any skin condition, really, but especially if you're dealing with with uh, psoriasis. Uh, retinoids have also been used. My retinol 5% gel may be helpful for folks dealing with psoriasis. Retinoids are all the retinoids. There's artificial retinoids, fake retinoids. A retinoid is vitamin A derivative. There are fake ones, pharmaceutical ones, but why use the fake one? Use retinol. Use the real stuff and make sure you're getting 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day. By the way, I have my blemish repair complex coming out uh, here in a couple weeks. Blemish repair complex is loaded with vitamin A and, and it's loaded with NAC and selenium. It's loaded. It's not, there ain't no window dressing in this guy in my, uh, in my uh, blemish repair uh, blemish repair complex, just like there's no window dressing in our Truth Skin Health products. All right. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about carnitine and the heart and then carnitine and the brain. Carnitine is an antidepressant, as it turns out. We'll talk about that tomorrow on The Bright Side. If you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com, and I'd love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team. If you want to call our phone team at 866-735-2470 and start a longevity business, love to have you aboard. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.